One of the most frustrating parts of golf is when you're faced with a relatively straightforward shot, you make poor contact and you've pretty much got the same shot again. If you struggle in these situations to get the ball close, get it up and down, well stay tuned, this video is really going to help. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here out on course at Junilup Resort and today I'm going to be helping you eliminate those chunk shots out of your game or when the leading edge drives too much down into the ground, the club stops and the ball doesn't advance anywhere near as far as what you'd like. Before we get stuck in, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all the great content coming your way. Also, if you are struggling with your short game out on top of the full swing as well, well, I can help you through personalized online coaching through an app called Skillist. I will place a link down below. Now on to today's topic, we're talking all about eliminating the chunk shots and I'm gonna show you the three main errors that I see with players who chunk the golf ball, they struggle with that contact, what they do in their setup and through the swing that encourages that shot that we would like to eliminate out of our game. So number one, the first error that I see players make when they set up to a golf ball is they place the ball too far back in their stance. That encourages the golf club to come on too much of a descending angle of attack where the club is simply just going to crash into the ground too much. That exposes what's called the leading edge of the club and that is the first error that I see when players chunk the golf ball too much, we generally see that they place that ball too far back in the stance. The opposite to that is placing the ball further forward. All things being equal, the further forward you place the golf ball, the more time that golf club has to shallow out and give you much more of a gliding rather than a digging motion into the ground. So this first chip shot, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change my ball position from being back in my stance to further forward. We've got about 15 or 20 meters. I'm going to land this just on front and let it run up and I just felt that golf club glide nicely through the grass and you can see I've got a shortish putt left. The second error that I see players make around the green which encourages those chunk shots where the ball doesn't go nearly as far as we'd like, well, it's as simple as they set up with too much shaft lean or when the handle is leaning too far forward at address. Now this does a couple of things which encourages that club to dig and stop in the ground. The first of which is when we lean the handle forward, it gets this leading edge exposed, the leading edge of the golf club, this sharp bit here. If we imagine the grass has got blades, well it just simply just gets in and sticks like that. It also, when we lean that handle forward, it de-lofts the golf club and gets the face turning down, which encourages the toe to more likely dig all things equal. That's certainly going to encourage those chunk shots as well. What we see with the best players in the world was they tend to have the shaft more vertical at address, more up and down in this position, and they actually have the club face slightly open. That encourages the golf club to glide, use the bounce of the golf club, the sole of the golf club, and you'll see we'll get a bruising of the ground rather than a digging. So this one here, I'm just going to extend from my forward ball position. I'm going to get the shaft vertical. I'm going to open the club face slightly. Let's see how we go. Very similar shot, and you can see that one actually checked up a little bit more than the other. The final reason that we see players chunk their chip shots around the green is their concept and how they deliver that handle back to the ball. Most players are under the assumption for these shots that they need to keep the handle in front of the head of the golf club. But when you do so, very similar to error number two of getting the shaft leaning forward at address, is it just encourages you to de-loft this golf club, expose the leading edge of the club, and that'll cause it to dig and stop into the ground. So what we see with the best players once again is that they all tend to let the club head pass through impact. And at the moment when it strikes the golf ball, we would tend to see that the shaft would line back up vertical like this and then carry through into the follow position. So a great way to set up is to simply ensure that once we're in our address position, we've got the ball position forward, the head, the shaft, the handle, my body's all in one line, club face slightly open. The combination of those will give us the greatest chance to eliminate the chunk shot. So I'm gonna put those three together. One last shot, let's see if I can get closer than those two. I've got the ball forward, club face slightly open, shaft vertical, weight forward, off we go. That one felt really good. 
rolling up near the pin. Very happy with those three. So if you're struggling around the greens, you're hitting those chunk shots, you're not quite sure what to do to rectify that. We've got three errors that we see players make. They place the ball too far back, they lean the handle too far forward, and then they think that they need to drive the handle through the golf ball. Simply make these adjustments that I've stated and it could make a massive difference to your ability to get up and down. So if you've got any questions, please ask me below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.